Hi, Tracy here with GenesisBlogging.com. Uh, this video is going to show you how you can easily set up a WordPress blog through your cPanel in your HostGator hosting. Very, very easy. Um, in my last video, I showed you how you could actually set up your hosting with HostGator, and that domain has now resolved. And this is the page that it gives you when you don't actually this is like their placeholder page when you don't actually have a site or a design or anything uploaded yet you're going to get this so um, by default so I haven't set anything up yet um, and you want to click this and enter in your login information to take you into the cPanel which shows you all your options um, and when you do that you're going to come over here and you're going to get a page that looks just like this this is the cPanel actually for this domain name and these are all these various options and different things and I can go over all of those in another time but right now you want to scroll all the way down to where it says software and services you want to click this Fantastico Deluxe and these are all the software and scripts and things that you can easily install with just a couple mouse clicks there are as you can see quite a few but we want to install today WordPress and it's going to install, we want to click New Installation, and it's actually installing version 2.7, which is the latest version of WordPress. We want to click that, and it's going to do everything for us that we want. Now, here you have um, an option and a decision to make. If you leave this blank, it's going to install it in the root, so that when I would click and go to, you know, mydomain.com, in this case genesisimbusiness.com, it is going to actually install it right there at that .com root part of the domain. Or you can install it in a directory, say a folder like they show here, slash name, like blog or whatever. Um, I'm actually going to go ahead and install this automated installation in a folder called blog. So I'm going to do that, and um, I'm going to go ahead and enter this in here, and i um, going to enter in my password and a nickname and enter in all that information, and I'll be back in just a second. I'm going to pause this for just a second, enter in all that information, I'm gonna, and I'll catch you back here in just in a second. Okay, I've got my uh, information entered in, and when I clicked the button, it sent me to this page, and it's installed. Um, a database for me. Um, it's going to do all of this for me and it's giving me the location of everything and then I'm going to click finish installation and it's going to you know finalize the installation and everything for me. Hey, I hit submit, I hit finish installation and um, it gave me my final information. It um, You can actually enter an email address on that page and it will at you where you can have the information sent to you or it will provide you the links on that final page with your username and password and your database information and all of that um, so that you can click those links open them up in new tabs and save that like I did here you know you save that information so you have the link to your um, administration area but for your uh, future reference the administration area for WordPress is going to be the location where you put it in this case I put it in blog and it's going to be WP hyphen admin that's how you find the location for your administration panel then you uh, enter in the username and the password that you yourself entered in when you set up the um, the WordPress blog and that'll log you right in um, so here you are at the WordPress blog and I will get more specific details in future videos on how to actually configure your WordPress blog and, and work your way around the WordPress blog in future videos. But that's how easy it is done um, in getting a WordPress blog set up in your cPanel through your Fantastico Deluxe icon. That's it. That's simple. So we'll speak to you soon.